Welcome back to another action figure review. This review, we're going to be taking a look at the new Mattel Masterverse, Masters of the Universe, Revelation, Moss Man. This is the new packaging it comes in. Uh, these figures have 30 points of articulation, as you can see on the top left. On the right, we have some type of barcode. On the very front, we have ages recommended six, 6 and above, on the left there. On the right, we have the Netflix original series logo. Most of the front of the packaging shows the actual the actual action figure and his accessories that's included. Um, at the bottom we have the Masters Universe Revelation uh, Mossman nameplate, and on the right we have the Mattel logo. On the top of the box we have the Masterverse with the blue rock type background. Looks really nice. At the bottom of the box we have a bunch of legal and safety information that no one really cares much about. It says contents when I figure in accessories. There's UPC if that helps you find these. These retail for $19.99 around on average at Walmart or Target. And just probably, you know, obviously more online. Side of the box has a nice faded out Moss Man, Heroic Spy, and Master of Camouflage just below that. Another side of the box, we have that beautiful artwork that these packages are starting to be known for. They're very nice. And the artwork actually does continue on the reverse side of the packaging. On the back, you can see the Moss Man. And I think that may be Skeletor and Beast Man down in the swamp. Along the bottom, it shows the four figures that are in Wave 1. He-Man, Skeletor, Evelyn, along with Moss Man. On the very bottom of the Mattel logo, um, there is a bio on the back of these cards, so I'll bring that forward and pause so you guys can pause and read that if you would like at your own time. So I'll hold it for like three seconds. So three, two, one, and we're going to go ahead and get this figure out of the box, take a look at it, and see what uh, what it's like. It looks pretty cool. I'm really surprised to see Moss Man in the first wave. It's one of those characters I wouldn't think would be offered. Um, if you want to keep your box in nice condition or uh, keep your figure uh, so you can put it back in the box, you can just cut this small piece of tape right here. And uh, you can uh, open your package and pull out your parts. You know it's hidden on the inside flap by the power of gray skull. Really nice. Inside the packaging of these really nice backdrops, so like a two-tone gray crack rock looking uh, display. You can actually use them if you dispose of your packaging. Maybe cut it out for your displays on your shelves. So here's Moss Man, Moss Man in his uh, uh, clamshell. We can see how all his figure, the figure and accessories are all displayed nicely. All you really have to do with this guy is just pick off the top piece and then you have access to your figure and your accessories well the first thing you may have noticed with moss man he doesn't have the moss material i guess i'm not sure what they call that i'm not sure i don't think it's called flock or anything but the original uh, 80s moss man had this uh mossy uh texture feel to it um this moss man is just all plastic and uh Sculpt it really, really nicely. A lot of details. So let's take a look at him. So the head sculpt looks pretty nice. It's like, you see me, he may have like a beard. He has his white teeth. His eyes are white. Several shades of green on his face. Nice sculpt work around his eyes and the center of his eyes. He has pointy ears. With the lighter green on the side and back and top of his head. Looks really cool. Here on the uh, around the ch upper chest, we have some branches, some nice sculpted uh, moss look throughout his upper body, top of his arms and his chest and back. A lighter green. Then we have a leaf on the one arm sticking out. Um, it's pretty solid. I feel like it's going to break off or anything, so that's good. But here, getting into his stomach and a little lower, 
darker greens and browns. We have a brown belt buckle, I guess, and the green um, sash around his waist, or whatever you want to call it. Darker green on his thighs, and then on his shins. We do have almost like moss pads on his knees, the knee pads, moss pads. Then we have a, a tree trunk leg on this side. And then more of a mossy leg on that uh, lower leg on that side. And you got some big feet. Got holes in the bottom. Got branches for feet. You got four toes. That's pretty cool. I'm kind of, for me, I always I was like, the original moss man was irritated and touching the thing. It kind of made me, my fingers feel funny when I was a kid. I didn't really like it. It's one of my own pet peeves. I know it's iconic for moss man but uh i'm kind of satisfied with the plastic and not the material that they used for moss man so i thought this is pretty nice so let's take a look at his articulation head ball joint or taste 360 um we have some up uh this down is almost stationary yeah, um, not getting too much side to side. Ball jointed shoulders rotates 360, no problem. Um, so, I want to recommend you always find this joint right here before you do too many uh, movements. Because shoot, this is our 360 rotation here, and you don't want to just put all that force on that. Eventually, it'll either wear out, break, and uh, bend. So you just want to be careful and try to grab the balls of the upper arms. So that rotates 360. He has doubled jointed elbows, which is going to give you beautiful range for these figures. More than 90 degrees. He has a leaf right there. So all those seem like the way all wave wave one have the in and out wrist. They rotate 360. And they have the in and out feature. None of them have the up and down, which is, you know, should have been at least for one hand. Um, let's see here. So far, his arms raise up. You're going to get about that much, and then you got that leaf in the way, so. Then you have some upper body articulation. I got some side to side there back and forth for a little bit not too much because there's like a you can see the chest comes upward and it probably kind of prevents it from getting too much of a deep bend there is a waist rotation 360 all the way around now for his legs he has let's see they are quite stiff just got to be very careful because they're you know new out of the package I'm not going to force too much, so you can get pretty good for Moss Man that way. And then, and then this way, and this kind of hits the back of his leg. Here we have thigh rotation, double jointed knees, and Let's see what we can get out of these feet. We get a rotation down or nothing up. Not too much side, no side to side and the 360 all the way around. Because of the way the skull fish, you're not going to get much with the uh, overall um, on the on the ankles. But there is about 30, there is definitely 30 points of articulation in the figure. Looks really nice. Definitely unique take on Mossman while keeping it, you know, his classic look without the uh, mossy feel to the figure. So for his accessories, we get two sets of extra hands. We get these grabbing type hands. Kind of, kind of evil. Very sharp looking tips on his fingers. And we have more of a Relaxed hand, I believe. The fingers extended or sticks, um, whatever they're supposed to be, 
Assuming we're just gonna call him his fingers. Then he comes with this tree trunk vine type of weapon. I'm assuming it kind of looks like you have to take out. I'm not gonna do this. But it looks like you have to take out this point here, this upper um, bicep part, and put this into the ball shoulder. And then you'd have like an arm that has been into a tree trunk for grabbing. Um, these are kind of really stiff. I don't see moving these enough to put a figure inside for, you know, like if he's capturing somebody. They don't seem to be very uh, flexible at all. It's more of a, just an overall look. I don't prefer, I would not not prefer to have that for my figure. But you might. But you have options. And there is some articulation there. So, see all this wet. That's what I was trying to explain to you about these balls. There's just a little joint there that's holding, you know, the arm in here. So if you go putting on that pressure on it or trying to rotate his arms, that ball is just going to eventually give out. It's very stiff as it is. I mean, it's very thin. But, uh, all in all, it's a cool figure. So there's your Wave 1, basically. All four of them. You have He-Man, Moss Man, Evil Man, and Skeletor. Looks pretty decent. Um, kind of excited for Wave 2. For at least Man-at-Arms. We're going to have Spike Ore. And they want to have a toned down Beast Man that has, you know, he doesn't, he looks from the Revel Revelations uh, series where he just has a blue waist skirt on, I guess. It, was, it doesn't have anything else. It's just bare boned. And uh, obviously, we, we get the Revelations Tila for the last figure, which, um, you know, my opinion is. A I don't like the design of that figure. Tila was beautiful with her long hair and in the very first episode. And she had a classic look, her classic outfit. And she was a powerful, strong woman. And then they, you know, cut her hair, make her look and then they bulked her up a little bit. So it's it's you know, it's a different approach for the character and uh, it has its audience, but it's not for me. Um not sure if I'd have it, I'm not really a completist or anything, but may do a review, may not on the Tila or Beast Man up in the air, but we're definitely, we'll be taking a look at Man at Arms and Spike or at least, we'll see what happens uh, and sometimes maybe in September or whenever, or if they are actually released on time due to all the you know delays with you know, the pandemic and everything, so I hope you guys enjoyed our look at our very first four Masters of the Universe multiverse figures. Let's hope we can get some more classic characters, classic designs, and that we all love. Along with, you know, the collectors that enjoy the newer looks. And hopefully you guys are, you know, liking those. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you get notification whenever we uh, put up another video we got a lot more figures coming and um, you're going to want to miss that so uh, don't forget to hit the thumbs up let, and let me know if you, if you guys are liking the videos and let YouTube know for the algorithm I guess and uh, don't forget to share the video with all your fellow collectors and uh, I want to thank you guys so much for watching have a great day and we'll see you in our next review